Hello, my name is Luke Deeker with Likewise Software. Today I'd like to show you some solutions for integrating Max with Active Directory. The first solution I'd like to show you today is called the Golden Triangle. This is actually a solution that Apple came up with. And what you'll do is use Open Directory to join your Max to Active Directory. The information on, on the Max is stored in both Active Directory and Open Directory at the same time. So let's look at some of the advantages and disadvantages of the Golden Triangle solution. First off, it's free. Open Directory is free, and if you've already invested in Active Directory, it could be a cheap solution for you. There's also a lot of Apple documentation available out on the web. But for drawbacks, you're going to have to set up an additional directory, Open Directory, and this isn't a best practice. You're also going to have additional hardware to serve that directory, and most notably, you're going to have to make some AD schema changes. The second solution I'd like to show you in this area is what other vendors in the market are doing. What they do is take, their, take your Mac clients and install an agent on that client. That agent can then join that client to Active Directory and using a Windows administration console and some ADM files, extend policy to your Mac clients. So after the Mac's been joined to Active Directory, the other vendors will take and write ADM files for specific Mac client settings that they want to push out as policies. So they'll choose different, different settings they think that you'll find useful, they'll write ADM files, and then those settings are, are able to be pushed down to the client. So let's talk about the advantages and disadvantages of our second solution today, those provided by other vendors on the market. For First of all, you are going to get down to one directory, Active Directory, which is definitely a best practice. But for a drawback, you're going to be using ADM files to extend group policy to those Macs, which is not true group policy for Mac. And what's worrisome about this is the vendor themselves choose which policies they feel are important to you, and they'll create those policies in their system. You can't apply any policy you want on any Mac setting and you'll be dependent on waiting for a third, third party to come out with an update if Apple releases some new settings or some new application that you'd like to control. The third solution I'd like to show you today is Likewise. And Likewise does things different. You'll still have a Windows administration workstation, but it can be a virtual machine running on one of your Macs if you'd like. You'll have access to the Group Policy Management Console and the Group Policy Object Editor on that machine, access to ADUC, and you're going to have installed the Likewise Enterprise tools. You'll have Active Directory, you'll have your Mac clients where you'll install Likewise Agent, and you'll have Workgroup Manager, a free application downloaded from Apple. Likewise is the only vendor on the market that allows you to work through Workgroup Manager to deliver true group policy for Macs. So let me show you how it works. You're going to have your Windows Administration console already joined to Active Directory. The first thing you're going to do is install the Likewise agent on your Macs and join those machines to Active Directory. Now, any user who logs onto these machines are going to need to do so using their Active Directory credentials. Next, you're going to install the Likewise Enterprise tools on your Windows Administration console. This is going to give you access to all the vast tools available to you in Likewise Enterprise, including an event log, auditing tools, and reporting console. This is also going to allow you to extend group policies that you have in your current Active Directory environment to your Mac systems. And finally, you're going to download and install Workgroup Manager on one of your Macs. What this allows you to do is essentially extend group policy specific for Macs to these systems. What's different about using Workgroup Manager is you can set any Mac setting available in Workgroup Manager, which is basically any setting on a Mac, including applications, for instance, the, the App Store, if you'd like to lock out the App Store. You can set any Mac setting in Workgroup Manager and use your established tools in Group Policy Management Console and the Group Policy Object Editor to extend those sitting, settings directly to the Macs. So let's look at the advantages of Likewise. First off, you're going to have one directory, Active Directory. And this is a best practice. There's not going to be any parallel directories or any additional hardware needed to support those. 
you're going to have true group policy for Mac using Workgroup Manager. And this is something, as I mentioned before, that's unique to Likewise. Through this, you can set any Mac setting you want and dictate that with group policy. And say a new Mac feature comes out and you want to extend policy based on that. All you need to do is download the workgroup the latest version of Workgroup Manager, install it on the machine, and next time the user joins, or next time the user logs in, he'll be subject to those policies you've dictated. Next, no schema changes are required likewise. It's a cost-effective solution. And one, one other cool feature is we can actually migrate local accounts you have on your Macs over into Active Directory and migrate those into the home directory. Okay, so in review, we've talked about three scenarios today. The first of which is the golden triangle using Active Directory, Open Directory, and the Active Directory plugin from Apple. The second scenario is using Active Directory, a third-party vendor, and ADM files to force policies on your Macs. And the third scenario is likewise, using our full support for Workgroup Manager to push out true group policies for your Mac integrating them to your, to your Active Directory, and making your Macs and your Mac, Mac users first-class citizens in your network.